My name is Staff Sergeant Foley, and this is the end of the line bowl line. The purpose of the end of the line bowl line is to secure a fixed loop in the end of a rope. Common uses include using this knot to secure the end of a rope around an anchor point. Understand that there are many ways to tie an end of the line bowl line. I'm going to go ahead and show you two different ways. The first way, you're going to start at the position of ready ropes. Go ahead and take your standing end, place it off to the side. With your working end, you're going to go ahead and drape it over your rope corral, creating a lay. I'm going to reach over and create a loop in my standing end. From here, I'm gonna reach through my loop and pull out a bite of my standing end. Secure your working end and route it through that bite, folding it back over onto itself. From here, secure your standing end and pull tight, dressing your bowline. You'll know so far that you've tied your end of the line bowline correctly. When you have a bite around your standing end, secured by a loop with the pigtail running through the middle of the fixed loop. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate an overhand safety, ensuring it's touching, but not impeding the knot with a minimum of a four inch pigtail. From here, I can set my knot, taking out all the slack. Once you're complete, to check your work, you'll see that you have a bite running around your standing end, secured by a loop with an overhand safety that is touching, but not impeding your knot with a minimum of a four inch pigtail. Additionally, the fixed loop of your end of the line bowline is big enough to fit a carabiner through or to fit around your rope corral. The second way I'm going to show how to tie the end of the line bowline is gonna have you start at the position of ready ropes. Go ahead and take your standing end, place it off to the side. Same as before, take your working end, drape it over your rope corral, creating a lay. Securing your standing end, you're gonna go ahead and turn the car off, forming a loop. Secure your working end, and feed it through that loop and around your standing end, and then back up and through. Once you've married up your running end and the fixed loop, you're gonna go ahead and secure your standing end and pull out all the slack, dressing your bowline. All right, from here, same as before, I have a bite running around my standing end, secured by a loop with my pigtail exiting in the middle of my fixed loop, and again, Fixed loop is big enough to fit a carabiner or to fit around my rope corral. I'm gonna finish this off the same way as before by incorporating an overhand safety. Again, touching, not impeding the knot with a minimum of a four inch pigtail. And from here, we'll go ahead and set my knot, taking out all the slack. One last time, I'm gonna check my knot, ensure that I have a bite running around my standing end, secured by a loop with an overhand safety touching, not impeding my knot, the minimum of a four inch pigtail. My fixed loop is big enough to fit a carabiner or fit around my rope corral. This is the end of the line bowline. line. This is a 45 second knot. Starting from the position of ready ropes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my standing end, indicated by my red tape, and place that off to the side. With my working end, I'm gonna go ahead and lay that over my rope corral. From here, I'm gonna reach over, form a loop in my standing end. I'm gonna reach through that loop and pull out a bite. With my working end, I'm gonna route it through the bite and fold it back over onto itself. With my opposite hand, I'm gonna secure the standing end and pull tight, dressing my bowline. From here, I'll know I've tied the bowline correctly if I have a bite with the standing end running through it, secured by a loop. Additionally, my pigtail is exiting the knot in the center of my fixed loop. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and tie an overhand safety, ensuring it is touching, but not impeding the knot. And I have a minimum of four inches on my pigtail. Once that's incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and set the knot. I'm gonna pull each line, taking out all of the slack. From here, although the ball line is tied correctly, again, I have my bite with the standing end running through it, secured by a loop. My overhand safety is touching, but not impeding the knot. My pigtail is a minimum of four inches. My fixed loop is big enough to fit a carabiner or fit around the rope corral. The second way I'm gonna cover how to tie the end of the line bowl line is gonna have you start at the position of ready ropes. I'm gonna take my standing end, indicated by my red tape, place it off to the side. My working end, Indicated by my yellow tape, it's gonna get draped over my rope corral, creating a lay. 
From here, I'm gonna secure my standing end and turn the car off, creating a loop. Secure my working end and feed it through that loop. I'm gonna route it around my standing end and back up through my loop, marrying it back onto itself. From here, I'm gonna grab my standing end and pull tight, dressing my end of the line bowline. I'll know it's been done correctly so far. I'm gonna have a bite around my standing end, secured by a loop with my pigtail exiting through the middle of my fixed loop. My fixed loop is big enough to fit a carabiner through it or to fit around my rope corral. From here, I'm gonna finish the knot off by incorporating an overhand safety. Ensuring that it's touching, but not impeding the knot. And once it's set, I'm left with a minimum of four inches of pigtail. Finally, I'm gonna set my end of the line bowline, taking all the slack out of it. I'll know my end of the line bowline is tied correctly when I have my bite around my standing end, secured with a loop. I have an overhand safety, touching, not impeding the knot, with a minimum of four inches of pigtail. My fixed loop is big enough to fit a carabiner through it or to fit around my rope corral. This is the end of the line bowline. This is a 45 second knot. This will be tied to Jotsy time and standard. This is a 45 second knot.